Today we're tying a Mormon girl streamer. Feed your vice. To tie a Mormon girl streamer, feed a size 6 Mustad R749672 into the jaws of your vise. Start a bobbin of black UTC140 about halfway down the shank. Once it is secured to the shank, cut the thread tag from the fly and continue wrapping the thread down the shank to the bend of the hook. Let's cut about 6 to 8 golden pheasant tippet fibers from a stem. Then measure the bundle to around a half shank long and secure the tippet to the hook at the measured point with tight wraps of thread. After the tail has been secured to the shank, wrap the thread up the shank to a bit in front of where the thread was started. Once the tail has been completed, cut two strands of floss from a spool of red Danville rayon. Hold the rayon at an angle against the near side of the hook and wrap one wrap of thread around it and the shank. Then with tension on the thread, gently pull the floss from the back of the fly. When the tips of the floss sit barely in front of the wraps of thread, stop pulling the floss and continue securing the floss to the shank with a few more wraps of thread. Once the floss has been secured to the shank, cut a strand of small gold oval tinsel from a spool and then align its tip with the tip of the floss and then secure it to the shank with a few tight wraps of thread. After the tinsel has been tied down, gently line up both the tinsel and the floss with the shank of the hook and lash them both to the shank with wraps of thread. When the thread has been wrapped to the bend of the hook, wrap the thread back up to the starting point of the fly and throw a half hitch into the thread onto the shank. This pattern uses badger hair for the wing. As you are tying this pattern, I want you to think about the unique furs you've used or would like to use on your fly patterns. What furs have you used and what patterns did you tie with that fur? How is that hair to tie with? Comment with the materials list you use for the pattern. Let's talk about unique animal hair used in fly patterns in the comments below. Now back to the Mormon Girl streamer. Next, wrap the two strands of floss up the shank with touching wraps to where the thread ends at the start of the fly by using the rotary function of the vise or wrapping it around the shank. The wraps of floss should be smooth and cover the exposed thread on the shank. Then throw another half inch of thread onto the fly and wrap the tinsel up the shank with six or seven evenly spaced wraps between the bend and the bare shank at the middle of the fly. If you are enjoying this demonstration of the Mormon Girl streamer, be sure to check out my tying demos playlist that will be sitting at the top right corner of the screen at the end of the demonstration. After the tinsel has been wrapped up the shank, tie it off and carefully trim the excess from the hook. Now bring the thread forward on the hook a little ways, then prepare a strand of medium yellow chenille by pulling the fibers free from the chenille at about a quarter of an inch from its tip. Place the tip of the chenille threads against the shank and tie them down with tight wraps of thread. Once the chenille has been secured to the shank, wrap the thread to about a quarter of the way down the shank from the eye of the hook, and throw another half hitch of thread onto the hook. Then using the rotary function of the vise, rotate the fly and wrap the chenille around the shank until it reaches the bare shank where it will be tied off and the excess trimmed from the fly. Hey, if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you can be notified when I upload new content. Next, wrap the thread to just behind the eye of the hook and then back to the front of the chenille. Now select and prepare a grizzly hackle feather from a whiting bugger pack that has been sized to a size 6 hook and pull the webby fibers off the feather. Then trim the stem to about a quarter inch long and secure it to the shank shiny side out with tight wraps of thread. Wrap the hackle around the shank four or five times, budding the wraps as closely as possible on the shank. The wrapped hackle should take about one third of the space between the chenille and the eye of the hook. Tie off the hackle and trim the excess from the fly. Use the fingers of your material hand to hold the hackle fibers along the shank as thread is wrapped over the top of the fibers so that they sit along the fly when your fingers are released from the fly. Once the collar has been completed, cut a large clump of badger hair from the hide and clean all the underfur from its hairs by pinching the tips and gently pulling all the underfur from the clump, similar to cleaning elk or deer hair. Place the clean badger guard hairs in a stacker and stack the hair. After the hair has been removed from the stacker, measure it to a bit longer than a shank. 
Then pinch them to the hook and tie them to the shank with a few good tight wraps of thread. When the hair has been secured to the shank, cut the excess hair from the fly at an angle from the thread wraps to the front of the shank. Then cover the badger butts with thread. This also helps build the head of the Mormon Girl streamer. Once the head of the fly has been completed, whip finish the pattern with a couple three turn whip finishes and cut the thread. Now coat the head of the Mormon Girl streamer with a bit of UV glue and blast it with a UV light. This is a Mormon Girl streamer. The Mormon Girl streamer is an oldie but goodie streamer pattern. What I like most is its use of material I don't see on too many flies. In addition to the red floss and yellow chenille, badger hair has great coloration and helps the Mormon Girl pop. Let me know what is the most unique hair you've tied with and the name of the fly you used it on in the comments below. Be sure to check out my tying demos playlist at the top right or select something YouTube recommends for my channel below that. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching. Now go feed your vice.